Hello guys, in this video I will show you a feature of Laravel called Squash and Migrations on a real life project in a practical way. Because I noticed that this was used in Laravel IO open source project by Dries Vince. So I will show you how it works and why you may want to use that. So the project is pretty old, more than 10 years, and you can imagine the history of migration changes over 10 years. It's a pretty huge list of migrations. So this is exactly what schema dump does. It squashes your migrations into a single SQL file. Let me demonstrate. If I run migrate fresh on Laravel IO or just migrations in the very beginning, look at what happens. First, loading stored database schemas and we have SQL file and only then running the migrations. And you can notice that migrations start at 2024, although the project, as I said, it's very old, more than 10 years. So where are other migrations? They are squashed into this schema. How does it look? So here's the source of that Laravel IO opened in my cursor. It's open source. You can take a look at that yourself. So this is the file database schema.sql. It's basically SQL dump. So what that migration operation is doing here is just launching my SQL client on my local MacBook, the CLI client with this as attachment, as parameter to execute everything in this file. So create table. It's not a Laravel language anymore. It's general MySQL. So it squashes all the changes that you made to, for example, table. If you have like nine different migrations about users table. So adding this column, adding this constraint, changing something, stuff like that. This would be probably a better way to find out what is the latest version of the user's table than go through individual migrations. And also interestingly, this file is not just about creating tables, but also inserting into migrations because this is important to know that this migration was actually executed at some time, at some point. So you can see that there were 78 migrations in total. An interesting random fact, I told that the project is 10 years old or more. Look at the date of the first migration. 2013, September 17th. And the day of when this video is published is September 17th. So this project, Laravel IO, is 12 years old sharp. Congratulations, Dries Vince, on that if you're watching this video. I remember Dries as one of the first community members of Laravel, then became Laravel employee. So I started Laravel daily in 2015 with first blog articles and Dries with Laravel IO was already a few years before me. But yeah, back to the topic. So you squash migrations once with this command, which gives you that SQL. But then if you need new changes to the database, you still can create migrations like Dries did from 2024 and beyond. So the actual artisan migrate fresh, as you saw, executes both. First, it checks for schemas and then runs the migrations. Now, interestingly, what will happen if we run schema dump now? First, let's try without the flag prune, without deleting the migrations. So if we run this, what happens? Schema dump dumped successfully with a warning, but still. And what do we have here now? We have updated MySQL schema, so it doesn't create a new file. It updates the old file. And let's take a look at the end, how many migrations Yep, so the migrations from 2024 and beyond are now in this updated file. So if you run schema dump multiple times, then it will update the same file. And then if we try to run that with dash dash prune, it will delete probably those migration files. Let's check. So dumped and pruned successfully. And now we don't have any migrations. In fact, we don't even have the folder. It's database schema, no migrations and those migrations are here in the same schema SQL. And now if we try to run migrate fresh once again, will it be successful? Yep. So now it's just creating migration table, loading SQL, and then nothing to migrate because we don't have any new migrations. And then of course that SQL file should be committed to the repository. So other developers on your team would be able to run migrations successfully. And the final question is, when do you run that command? What is the actual benefit? A few benefits, actually. First, it may be faster. It depends on the scenario, but just executing SQL is faster than running 300 migration files, for example. So if you care about speed of migrations with a lot of changes, this may be a way. Also, decluttering. 
it's kind of like spring cleaning, if you will. So if you have a lot of migrations and it's hard to find something meaningful in them, then it means it may be time for a cleanup. Also, it may happen after a huge feature release, for example, huge refactoring, where you don't even want to save the data of what was changed in migrations. You just need the latest SQL, the latest schema in one place, and then you kind of start fresh with new version of the project or new bigger structure or architecture for the project with new database. I mean the new database structure, not the new physical database. I hope you get the idea. So yeah, this is the demonstration. When would you use or when did you use such a feature of schema dump? And can you name any downsides, any caveats where it doesn't work or we shouldn't use that? Let's discuss all of that in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.